I'm creating 15 satisfying LEGO animations, from a simple bottle smash all the way to a LEGO wave. The first satisfying animation we are going to do is a bottle smash. So I grabbed a glass, but it has liquid in it. I also grabbed some green LEGOs to animate the splash. Animating the breaking animation did take a considerable amount of time, but not as much as actually masking everything out. Before I reveal the product to you, I need to add in some sound effects. So I quickly added in the necessary sound effects. Here's the result. Very satisfying. Now what's next? Oh, a splashing animation. This is gonna be interesting. I decided to build up a little pool with a bit of grass surrounding it. You know, cause a patch of grass and a pool totally makes sense to be in the middle of a barren wasteland. After taking five pictures for every single frame, three separate times, it was done. Here's the splash. It's pretty good, I think. But now I wanna smash more things. And what's better to smash than a classic Lego minifigure? Of course, smashing it with my bare hands would be pretty boring. So I'm gonna use a hammer. I also thought it would look cool if a Lego guy kinda stuck to the hammer when it was removed for a little bit of extra satisfaction. You know what's really satisfying? The moment when you scrape a tiles off of a base plate. So let's animate that. I slapped down a bunch of red tiles for the brick separator to, well, separate the tiles. I also decided to make it spin before the tiles were scrapped because, you know, why not? I'm not entirely sure what to do about the sound effects, so I just recorded myself scraping some tiles and used it in a vid. Here's the result. Looks pretty good. Now let's make a satisfying drawing animation. So I grabbed a pencil and drew the word sub, which you should totally do if you haven't already, by the way, and a smiley face. Let's see how this looks. Okay, cool. What's next? I know, you know the feeling when something fits perfectly into place? Yeah, let's create that Lego. So I built up a platform and made some little Lego puzzle pieces that would slide right into a slot. I also put in some epic lighting because you know, why not? Animating really didn't take long except for when one of the pieces fell before it was supposed to, but it's fine. Now let's see what the animation looks like. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I've legitimately run out of ideas as to what to animate, so I decided to call up my friend Rex Animations to help me brace some ideas. Okay, so yep. uh, I, I've run out of animation ideas. I, I need I need to, you to give me one. You should animate Rocket League and Lego. Wait, uh, that's not exactly satisfying. No, I'm just kidding. You should stretchy bricks and Lego. All right, I think I can do stretchy bricks. For this, I'm gonna use a minifigure and spread them apart as much as I can. But how exactly was I gonna do this? Simple. I just animated my hands attempting to pull the minifigure apart. Don't ask how I was able to take pictures without using my hands. That is classified information. For sound effects, I went to good old YouTube and searched in stretch animations and just recorded some. And here's the result. Yeah, I can see you. What are you- what are you doing? Anyways, one other thing Rex suggested was dominoes. This was absolutely genius. As a kid, I used to like lining up dominoes to knock them over. So, you know, let's just recreate that in Lego. I built up about 11 Lego dominoes and lined them up and decided just to have my minifigure knock them down. Sound design time! I grabbed some of the dominoes, lined them up, started recording, and knocked them over. Then I added it to the animation. Enjoy! Crap, I ran out of ideas. So what did I do to fix this problem? I ran to you guys and asked for your ideas. This is what y'all said. Mini figs defying the laws of physics. Bottle By the way, your videos house. are amazing. Games of the Arches make the first one sound like the other guys in the Apple. These guys are going to make the other guys in the Apple. Okay, okay, you get the point. Now, obviously, I can't choose all of them. So I decided to combine a factory dropping bricks into a pool and a conveyor belt. Once I found a conveyor belt and a multitude of other terrain Lego pieces, I actually built a real set for the first time in this video and animated the conveyor belt slowly carrying a brick into a pool of water. I did get a little impatient and sped it up a bit, as well as a little splash. I promise this is the last animation with floating particles, so I don't overwork myself. But here's the result. Another thing that was said in the community post was bread being cut. Well, I don't have a Lego loaf of bread, I can still animate a minifigure chopping up some bricks. To chop up the bricks, I thought it was only fitting to give the Lego man a massive sword to chop them up, which is exactly what I ended up animating. 
After once again scrolling through the suggestions, there was one specific word that shined like a diamond in the rough. Melt! Yep. Something needs to melt now. And that something is gonna be a classic Lego minifigure. I'm almost starting to feel bad for all that I'm making this poor Lego guy go through. There's nothing wrong here. Nope. Nuh-uh. Everything's fine. But, uh, here's him dissolving. Enjoy his pain. Guess what satisfying animation we're doing next? Something being flattened! And you know what's gonna be flattened? Yep. The Lego guy. And I animated him being flattened by a janky looking car. The Lego guy is not gonna come back from this one. Probably. If he does, then um, I don't know what to what to do anymore. Bro, what do you want? No, nah. -uh. You get back here. Uh, he's he's probably friendly anyways. Explosions are also pretty satisfying. So let's make a Star Wars ship explode. I was pretty indecisive about which ones to blow up at first until I eventually came to the conclusion that a microfighter of the Mandalorian ship would do just fine. But you don't get to see me animating because I forgot to film it. Haha. <laughs> so please enjoy this epic standby screen. I did record the masking. The explosion was by far one of the most difficult scenes to mask. But I managed anyways. And I also added some, you know, explosion sound effects and breaking sound effects, as you usually do. Here's the explosion. Something else that is quite satisfying is watching something crumble. Kinda like dirt. Let's make a red Lego brick fall apart. I animated a bunch of smaller pieces falling off the brick to create this effect. Here's the result. Definitely not the best animation of this entire video, but we gotta keep moving. Okay, so I still need to do one more animation, but what exactly was I going to do? I asked the master of satisfying animations himself, the Jumi film, what I should do. He said this, make something that impresses me, IDK. I'm using a point and shoot in a $200 phone. How am I supposed to impress a professional? Wave. Yeah, I'm making a Lego wave. Hopefully this impresses them. So I quickly jumped at the opportunity to waste an hour and a half sifting through all my Lego buckets to get more than necessary amounts of Lego bricks. The actual animation only took like 30 minutes to do them, so it's not that bad. Let's see what Jumi thinks. Nice wave. Very satisfying. Yippee! If you somehow made it to the end of this video and would like to see more like it, please do consider liking and subscribing. But why have you been following me this entire video? But before you go, I also want to give thanks to Jesus, because he died on the cross and paid the price for your sins. Also, huge thanks to the members. If you want to help support the videos further, you can join the membership. Anyways, I need to figure out why this guy's been following me and who he is.